Hi guys, so I've been promising you guys this video, my one year post-op. I did just want to show you guys um, my body. As you know, I got pregnant at five months post-op, um, at like three days after hitting my five month post-op mark. We got pregnant, so my weight loss has kind of been staggered, but I am still losing. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys like where I'm at. You see my face is still thinned out, um, my neck is still thin, my arms I do because I haven't been working out, I do have some skin, but for the most part I did lose my arms, um, and I am this, <laughs> I still don't have no butt guys, but uh, I am losing, excuse my animal fur, my dog decided to lay all over me, but I'm still, my legs aren't big at all. I'm still losing in my legs. My calves and my feet are a little swollen these days from the pregnancy. And then, of course, all of this is all baby. And then I have on my little let me out shirt. But all of this is all baby. So I'm still losing. I'm still at a good weight. Um, when we first found out we were pregnant, I was weighing in at 193. And up until I was Six months, I had only gained two pounds. I went from one night, I'm sorry, three pounds. I went from 193 to 196. And then of course, once she started putting on pounds, then of course it jumped up. So the last time I went to the doctor, which was um, on the 9th, I weighed in at 212. But um, it's, it's baby. I'm not gaining, it's baby and boobs. I'm not gaining anywhere else. So that is where I'm at with my body. And then I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about my eating habits and things like that. Eating wise, um, my eating has changed um, at my year. I can eat a sandwich. I don't have to toast the bread. Um, I can pretty much, geez, I can pretty much eat whatever I want to eat. Honestly, I, my food tolerance since surgery has been excellent. I know a lot of people can't do stuff, but I can. I can eat whatever I want to eat. There isn't anything that makes me upset. Yeah. The one thing, the things that were making my stomach upset, I chalked it up to the surgery, and it was all to be chalked up to being pregnant. Um, what else can I eat? I'm be honest. I eat a lot of stuff that I'm not supposed to eat. Um. If I get a craving, I don't deny myself that craving. I go ahead and I eat what I want to eat, um, which is not good. I wouldn't advise anybody to do. You know, we didn't have this surgery to eat unhealthily. Unhealthily. I don't think that's a word, but whatever. Um, we had this surgery to be healthy and to change our lifestyles. And so I wouldn't advise anybody to do that. I have fell off the wagon a little bit, especially with the pregnancy, um, because my cravings are all over the place. So when I crave something, I eat it. And I don't, like I said, I don't deny myself those cravings. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's kind of hard to do a year post op because I'm not where I wanted to be at a year post op. At a year post op, I was planning on being a whole lot smaller. You know, but God blessed me with our bundle of joy, so I'm grateful for that. But for me, this is this is almost like a starting over point for me because after I have baby, um, I plan to start my journey all over. And when I say start all over, I mean go right back to the liquid diet. You know, after and that uh, I have to wait a little while because that's not that's not going to be healthy. For I'm going to have to keep a health, keep my appetite up. Um, to be able to nurse my baby uh, or our baby but after that I plan on going back to my liquid diet getting back on a reg I plan on getting back on an exercise routine ASAP um, the minute that she is immunized immunized I plan on putting her in that stroller and mommy and daughter are not spending time in the house we are going to go walk around this park and um, walk and do things like that tie the dog up to the stroller and we just all gonna go for a walk one big happy family on a walk um, but yeah I plan on getting that back ASAP because we do want another child and like I said I turned 29 this year 
So we do want another baby. And by the time we get pregnant with our next baby, I want to at least be down to what my goal weight was. For you guys that didn't know, my goal weight was 120, 125. And I got down to 193. <laughs> so, um, and it's funny because the doctor's visit at six months post-op and we didn't know we were pregnant yet he was telling me no get down to your goal weight that can happen by may um get there and then worry about getting pregnant then so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take his advice this next time around and i'm going to get down to my goal weight and um before we have you know this is my plan i don't know what god's plan is but this is my plan <laughs> for myself um, is to get down to my go weight before I have my next baby. That way I've already lost the most and I'm not really worried about that part. Um, so yeah, so my year post-op, we'll do a year post-op resolution <laughs> is to, um, have baby and at two years post-op be down to where I want to be down to. And if I'm pregnant at two years post-op, at least have already hit my 125. Um, my eating my eating is it's hard for me to even explain my eating because uh my eating is different because i'm pregnant so everything that i eat goes to baby granted um so i can eat a little bit more you know where before i was eating i would eat breakfast snack lunch snack dinner snack before bed where now it's like breakfast snack snack lunch snack snack <laughs> dinner snack and then bed um because i'm hungrier more often and the bigger she gets the more hungrier i get so it's kind of it's even a little bit hard to explain that part of it and going into that side of it um health wise i am as fit as a fiddle no more co comorbidities no pre-diabetic no high blood pressure clearly no infertility um a lot of prayers were answered uh, for the reasons why I even decided to have the surgery in the first place. A lot, a lot, a lot of prayers have been answered and um, in those areas because at 29 years old, where at 20, oh gosh, I did. I had the surgery uh, five days after my 28th birthday at 28 where I was completely unhealthy and, prob and when they do your... Um, body age my body age was coming out at like 40 something at 28 years old and if they were to do that now it would show closer to my age that's awesome and that's an answered prayer because now that we are working on babies I want to be here for my kids and I want to run with them and I don't want to be that parent who's like eat healthy do this and then I'm fat and all I want to do is sit on the couch and eat potato chips all day but I want my kids to be active. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be that parent. I want to be that parent that's out there. Let's go riding bikes as a family. Let's go running. Let's go playing at the park. Let's go run around. You know, let's play tag, free tag. My kids about to know all these games that we played when we was little. So at a year post-op, I may not be where I want to be weight-wise. And I may have my unexpected blessing. But as far as my health is concerned, I am 100% satisfied I still looking back um I would not I would I would go back again and have the surgery if um if if somebody said to me you have to do it over you have to do it again I would do it again cuz it was the best decision I could have ever made for myself I see a lot of people who regret it after a little while but it was the best thing that I could have ever done for myself so at my year post stop I am as healthy as I want to be and I love it and after my blessing comes and I have my bundle of joy in August. And my two-year post out, baby, y'all better watch out. Because she going to be right. Um, but I will talk to you guys later. Next video coming after this one will be the baby shower haul. I am very tired, if you guys can't tell. Thank you guys for your patience and your loyalty. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.